All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great Happy New Year so far. Happy New Year 2023 to you all. I hope you guys all got to spend time with your family during the holiday break and had a lot of fun with that. And now let's get right back into another coding tutorial. So in this video today, I'll be showing you guys how to build this decimal to binary converter. So basically all you do is just enter in a regular decimal number. So I'll just put in five, convert it to its binary version. So five would be one zero one, and we can just test out some other numbers. And as you can see, it's working out just fine. So yeah, that's pretty much all this project does, but I thought it might be useful if I showed it to you guys and help you guys apply it to other projects you might have in the future, because this is a small functionality that could have greater impacts on larger scale projects. So I figured I might show it to you guys. Let's get right into the video. So first off, we're, we're just going to start off by getting rid of all this code. And then I'm going to keep this commenter here because we're going to be using these import statements for our C CSS. First, let's create our style tags and let's paste those import statements in there. And that's all we're going to do for the C CSS for now. We'll get right back to it after we're done coding up the HTML. And let me zoom in a little bit to make it easier for you guys to see. So let's start off first by creating an H1. And we'll just say decimal and then add a little emoji. So we'll say right, and we'll just click on the right hand emoji. It's optional, you don't have to do that, but and then underneath that H1, let's create a div. Let's give it an ID of container. Let's create an input, give it an ID of decimal input, and then this will have a type of number so that it's going to restrict the data type to only be numbers when you enter it in. So if you enter in the letter, it's not going to show up. And now let's give this a placeholder of decimal just so we know <coughs> whether it's a decimal or the binary input. Let's create another input, and you guessed it, it's for the binary input. And for this input, we don't actually want to type in anything, so we'll just say disabled. And we'll give the type as number as well, and we'll just give us initial placeholder as binary. Now let's open this up with live server, and close the old one, and as you can see, it's pretty empty right now, but we have our two inputs and the H1. So now let's go create some of the CSS styling. So below these import statements, we'll just create, we'll just write, we'll just type out this line right here, which pretty much selects all the elements on our page, including pseudo elements, and then giving all of them padding of zero, margin of zero, and let's say box sizing of border box. It just gets rid of all those initial excess margin. So now it's actually sticking to the edge of the, pa uh, the page. And now let's give the body a background of RGB, 867.242, and as you can see, we have a blue background now. Awesome. And I forgot to say 100 V width. And let's go to our container. Let's say display flex, justify content, and then we'll set line items, and then background 255. We'll set the height and width to be equal to each other. And then let's do position absolute and apply all these styles, positioning styles. <clears throat> all right, so now once we're done with the container, we want to target the container and grab all the elements inside of it. So that includes like buttons, inputs, other divs or span tags that are resting within the container. Those all those will be selected and then we'll just give them all a margin of 40 pixels, also a height of 45 pixels, and let's give it a border radius of three pixels. Border will be one pixel solid, hashtag 333. And then let's do cursor pointer so that now we'll say text align center, font family Montserrat, and then we'll say Sansera, and then let's do font size 22 pixels, outline none, and now we're done with that chunk of block right there. And now, as you can see, we have our inputs pretty well designed. It's got this thin border around it, and so now let's grab our H1, let's do color RGB, and then let's do position absolute and apply all these styles once again. Awesome, so now we're completely done with the project. All we have to do now is just write the JavaScript part of it, and then we'll be done. So let's go below our div tag right here, still above the ending body tag, and then let's create our script. And in here, all we want to do is just grab the decimal and binary input, so I'll just type out the simple document.getElementById statement. Okay, so that's one, and now let's copy that down and change it to binary input. And then now, below that, let's create a function. We'll say convert to binary, and then we'll say let decimal equals parse int, and then we'll just say decimal input dot value and we'll say let binary version so this is once the regular number has converted into binary we'll just take that regular number and then say dot two string 
and we'll put in the number two. So it's asking us how many distinct digits it wants to have. And in binary, there's only ones and zeros. So that's why we put in two because there's only two possible values. So now we'll just grab our binary input and then we'll say dot value equals to binary binary version. And that's pretty much it. All we have to do now is just apply our event listeners and then we should be pretty much done. So we'll just say decimal input dot add event listener. We'll just say input and then use that function there that we just created. And now let's open it up with live server again. And we'll put in the number five. And there we go. We get the exact same result as before. So yeah guys, you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more content like this. I hope to see more growth in this channel for 2023. And if you guys would like, I'll also start posting some Microsoft tutorials. So <clears throat> if that interests you guys, make sure to comment that down below. And if you have any other video ideas, comment that as well. And yeah, have a great day. And I'll see you guys in my next video.